Hey, so I helped out on this film called Bad Beat. I was a production sound mixer for it, but I was also the sound engineer for the music recording as well. And I've taken the liberty to record my process and explain what I was doing to a certain degree. I was explaining things about some micing techniques for drums, acoustic guitar, bass, electric guitar, and all that stuff. So check it out. So we have two kick drums here. We have an RE20 going inside the hole. Since this has two holes, it's creating more airflow. Then we got another Beta 52 here on the outside. And we have an SM57 for the top snare here. And a Sennheiser 421 on the bottom. Sometimes people don't know the distance between the drum and the mic of the snare, like how far it should be. A good idea is like putting your hands together and using that as a starter point. And like if it's like the height and just set it there. For the racks, we decided to do two mics on this, top and bottom, both 421s. And then we have one on the floor rack over there. So then we have two overheads, AKG 414s. One is like falling apart, but it's fine. Since they're stereo, it's important to keep the mics the same, the polar pattern and all that stuff. Then we have on the outside here, you can't see right now, but we have two room mics. Since this room is not really a room like for reverb, uh, we did what we can. We would normally probably point it this way if this is like wood and create a good echoing chamber. We point it this way and have a gobo behind it so it can only capture the reverb. But in this case, we're pointing it this way so we can capture the distance between the drum and the mic. There's one over there on that side too. And then the center here, we just have AKG 420 and omnidirectional. So he's not just catching this side, he's catching everywhere just for options. And this is gonna be our talk back mic, which is gonna double as like a mid overhead if it sounds good enough. acoustic guitar and we decided to do a stereo pattern mid-side. What we have here is the AKG 420 and it's set at bi-directional and right here we have a cardioid position, the Neumann 184. So uh, if we had like a, like a Neve console, or SSL console, whatever, uh, we can just patch in and send it to another uh, track recording in Pro Tools but we don't have that so we're gonna duplicate it in post and just invert the phase and then we'll get that separation we wanted. And then our positioning, if Ben will get in, is more kind of like right here. So this will be pointing here. So we move to the left a little bit. So we can gain the airflow from here, the air out here strumming here and like whatever we get here from the cardioid. So you get like that bigger acoustic sound. Two more instruments now, a guitar and a bass. So let's show that setup here. We've got the bass amp in here, and we got two mics set up here just in case. We're not sending a DI box in, because I like how that sounds. And we got the guitar amp over here for D112 as a mic. It actually sounds really good with this. Yeah, you can see it. Yeah. <laughs> can't see over there, it's gonna to be too dark for the camera, but that's another Neumann 
gosh, I forgot what micro is, but it's a normal, it's a normal condenser. So it can kind of catch the room, but even though it's like isolated room. So it's going to be really cool because we're going to close all the doors and it's going to be isolated well enough while the two guitars and or the guitarist and the bass player plays in the control room while the drummer plays over there. He can hear everything, they can hear everything, they can communicate. And it's going to be awesome. Lion, yeah, a fucking joke. You've got your ass on a prize, but you won't find no more. Yeah, a lion, yeah, a fucking joke. You tell me all these ways you love me, but you don't know. Oh, I know.